Oh, it's going. Oh, it is. Going to a celebration 50 years in the making, where the world 
Alrighty, hey everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a what is it? Friday. It's Friday night. Here we are, seven songs. It's been a while. Good to see everybody. Uh, we might be having some weird internet uh, issues, so if stuff is weird, uh, let us know in the chat, please. We think we have a marginal uh, signal that's happening, so let us know if it's weird. If the sound is weird, I think we should be good. It's been a while since we've done this, but for some reason, it was saying marginal quality of uh, of broadcast so that's so judgy yeah so judgy so <laughs> thanks for hanging out don't do that too this is seven songs with me george rob uh this is actually our our last uh, internet one before we do our very live show in two weeks at the ice house on the 23rd check out our cool ass poster i think that's in frame yes can you see that? Yes. Right? Cool. This is our lovely seven songs live as well as a Boomer vs. Zoomer right here in Bethlehem. Be sure to go to uh, noshow2.eventbrite.com, get tickets for that. But let's, uh, today's subject is uh, Ukrainian songs because like I had said in some of the announcements, I had wanted to do Yuki Tunes for a while and just kind of couldn't figure out when a good time would be. And then, of course, all the ugliness started happening and Ukraine kind of came into the... Uh, consciousness of the planet in a way it hasn't before and I thought all right maybe it's a good time I don't want to dwell on the awfulness that's happening because that's we're 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 aware of it every day of course all of our thoughts and and wishes for the best possible outcome of this horribleness uh, are being sent out to our family and friends and kin in Ukraine uh, whether they are directly kin or not it doesn't matter we're all brothers and sisters um and then especially for me it, of course there's the ukrainian connection so these are songs that i grew up with these are songs that uh i learned as a as a kid these are songs that i learned as a young adult as well they uh, just celebrate some of the loveliness that is the ukrainian music i'm going to start with what is essentially uh the ukrainian this land is is your land this is kind of a song that was written in the 60s 1968 by uh, volodymyr ivashuk and it, uh, it never was copyrighted, and it kind of became a folk song, a modern-day folk song, and it's essentially the equivalent of uh, This Land is Your Land, but it's the Ukrainian version of it. This is called Chervona Ruta, and this is about a, an enchanted flower. What I'm going to do, I'm going to play this tune, then I'll backtrack a little bit and tell you the whole story of this thing. But in essence, this is about a, uh, a red rue. Which is a kind of, it's a kind of, what's the official? Uh, Ruta graviolens. Ruta graviolens is the flower, or uh, the common rue, or the herb of grace. Herb of grace. It's, uh, yeah, it grows there in Ukraine. And the, uh, the trick to this, well, I'll, I'll get to the trick to it in a second, but this is called Cervona Ruta. And this is just, uh, let me start playing it. I'll tell you the whole story afterwards. Here we go. Again, let us know. Sound-wise, I think we're okay so far. Good, yeah. Here it is from uh, 1968. A composer called Volodymyr Ivashuk. This is Chervon Naruta. Ты признаешься мне Звідки в тебе ті чари? Я без тебе всі дні У полотні печарі Може десь у лісах Ти чарзіля шукала Сонце руту знайшла І мене зчарувала Шукай вечорами Ти у мене єдина Тільки ти повів Бо твоя врода То є чистая вода То є пістрая вода Синіх гір Ба 
Хочу я тебе в снах, у дібрових зелених, по забутих стежках, ти приходиш до мене, і не треба нести мені квітку надії, бо так давно вже ти увійшла в мої мрії. For those of you that maybe were at my last PFA gig officially with the band, uh, we did the Philadelphia Funk Authority played a version of this at that show, which then uh, the lovely doctor over there, uh, Dee Magavro, she played it on her show, radio show a while back, or a quarter version of that. Um, okay, so so this song is called Chervona Ruta, Red Rue. And for years, for years, most of my life, most of my childhood, most of my adult life, I assumed this song was about this red flower that you want to go find it in the woods and it kind of represents like, you know, finding your true love. Well, turns out that ruse are not red. They're yellow, right? They're not red. They're yellow. And there is a folk tale or a folk story that says one night out of the year at midnight for like a couple minutes, certain yellow ruse become red. And if you find that red rue, then you find your true love. I had no idea. I was like in my 40s when I learned that this is what this song is about that I had been singing since I was two. And the thing is, is it, it says in the, in the chorus, it says, uh, the protagonist of the song is saying, don't go looking for the red rue. Don't go looking for the enchanted magical thing to find your love. I'm right here. Don't go searching for it. Uh, don't go out at night and look for this thing. I'm right, I'm right here. Your true love is right here. And this whole song is not just a representation of this folk tale, but it is a metaphor for the Ukrainian experience, where Ukraine, Ukraine at the time this was written, was under Soviet rule. And it is this hidden, like, why are we searching for this magical uh, national answer? To, to what we are as Ukrainians when it's right here. We are, we are Ukrainians. We are proud of what we are. We're not Russian. We're not Soviet. And it's this wonderful triple metaphor that lies inside of it. It was so monstrously popular, this song, even within the Soviet Union, and was such a groundswell of Ukrainian national pride, even whilst Ukrainian was not being taught in schools, Ukrainian was not allowed in public places, was not allowed in, uh, is, was not the official language of Ukraine, the Ukrainian SS, SSR, it was still getting so crazily popular that, of course, uh, Volodymyr Ivashuk, the author of this, was killed by the KGB. Now, supposedly he hung himself, but everybody kind of knows that, uh, like, they found him in the woods, 
he had been hung. So they killed the guy. They killed the guy. And of course, made him all the more popular and made the song all then became kind of the standard recording was a reggae version. There was this weird 80s, like late 80s European reggae dissemination thing that happened where there was a lot of tr like trans-European pop being performed as reggae. It's very weird. But very weird. Yes. Buffering. The buffering. There was a there was a freeze in okay. buffering. Uh, hold on one second. I'm yeah. asking people in my email. Okay. God damn it. All right. It's a communist plot. <laughs> Okay, they're back. Evo says he's back. And he's in Belize. <laughs> Evo's in Belize, and he says we're back. So yeah. if we're back in Belize, I'm hoping we're back in Allentown as we're well. We're big in Belize. <laughs> Let us know. Yeah, again, we might have some starts and stops. I'm not sure what's going. We had a power outage this morning. I lost power for two hours, which is really weird. Um, so maybe that's affecting things. I'm not sure. Let's just says we're good. Okay, I'm not sure how much you heard, but the song is called Chorna Cava which means black coffee. This is from the 80s, back when there was kind of this weird European reggae craze of like European pop tunes sounding like bad reggae, bad white European reggae. And despite the bad production and sort of semi-cheesy production uh, uh, performance of this song, it's a beautiful song. And to me, it sounds like a 1920s kind of cafe tune. And that's how I'm going to play it. So in essence... This song, Chorna Kava, black, listen for that word, Chorna, which means black, and Kava obviously means coffee. Like I said, so many languages have the word Kava mean coffee. And the chorus is Chorna Kava. You'll hear that a lot. In essence, this is a guy who has a relationship with a woman. He, 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 they used to go to this coffee shop, and they would have coffee, and they would, like, they fell in love while having coffee. Something happened to her. We don't know exactly what happened to her, but he now goes back to the coffee shop whenever he can, hoping that she'll show up. And, and his heart kind of, the, the coffee reminds him of sort of the darkness of his heart and how he's like heartbroken. And some woman comes up to him, says hello, and for a second he gets excited, but it's not who he thinks it is. It's not her at all. And he's just reminded of his sort of loneliness and the coffee shop and the black coffee and, uh, and kind of the, the rainy clouds that are outside, the smoky clouds that are outside. It's a lovely little line here. Procholodnik de Mio, kind of the blue cold clouds that are surrounding the coffee shop. So this to me sounds like a 1930s, 1920s, 1930s jazz, gypsy jazz kind of thing. And that's what I'm going to do it. So this is called Charnakava. I just love this song. Oh, and what's really cool is it has an intro with its own melody. And the melody of the intro does not come in the verse or in the chorus. It's got its own intro and outro melody, which I'm going to whistle. Видно спокою вулиць і від самоте. Незнайома дівчина мені посміхнеться. Але це вже не ти, але це вже не ти. Чорна кава спогад сумні виклала. Чорна кава 
як розставання гірка. Заблукаю містом в туман. I just don't know if I can key back into the same stream. Upstairs computer, figuring that would help with the stream. People at this condo association. I don't, I don't, yeah. Okay, we're good. Play, play! <laughs> <laughs> I think I caught the key change, I think. Okay. Shovel, a tovel, a spodny, vatis, a marno. All is now on a mistom, black kidney, dim. Zachodzu ja znowu do starej kawiarni. Gdzie zustryły się my, gdzie zustryły się my? Czarna kawa z pochodzu mi wykluka. Czarna kawa jak rozdawania hirka. Zablokają. Zgadają w starą kawiarniu zajdu. Chorna Kava, Black Coffee, song number two. Sorry for the buffering. I don't know what's going on. We're just going to soldier through. The room, led by your father, thinks it's Russian interference. It is Russian interference, no question, because of, the, because of my puck footin'. All right, I'm going to move on. Song number three. Lots of flowers tonight, I realized. After I made the set list, I realized there's lots of flowers. Now this is an example. Let's go to this camera for a second. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> I doubt it, but who knows? So this is an example of one of these tunes. I couldn't, I couldn't find any information about it. I was hunting and hunting and hunting. As far as I can tell, this is from the '30s, but I'm not, I'm not totally sure. This is a song called Troyande. Maybe it's from the '40s. There's, there again, there is this kind of gypsy jazz time post World War One, even post World War Two, I guess, where they're writing these kinds of songs and they're they're not they're apolitical obviously because of the Soviet stuff, but they're somehow getting out. And this was on my dad's album, uh, uh that he recorded back in nineteen seventy four. Uh and I always I always liked the PFA learned a version of this as well. Uh this is called Triande, which are roses. And the words basically of this song are imagine a train station. <laughs> 
and a train station uh, where people are coming and going and meeting and not meeting each other. And it's covered in roses. It's covered in like rose, roses that are thrown all over the train station. And in essence, the roses are crying out that they're not roses. They're saying we're actually, we're lost loves. Again, very positive, happy stuff, but um, we're not, the roses shout, we're not flowers, we're love and love can't be trampled. So it's this, they're like, it's, it's, a, it's just a lovely thing. And this is a tango originally, at least I think the version of the, I mean, I, I couldn't find a recording, I couldn't find whatever, apart from my, my dad's recording. Um, but it's this idea that just sort of roses are crying out. So you'll hear uh, um, Troyande, Troyande, that's the chorus. Ah, Troyande, ah, Troyande, that's roses. I didn't know were roses, I thought it was a different kind of flower, but apparently that's roses. We always called them Roji. But I guess that's not what they're officially in Ukrainian. So Troyande. So this is again, this is kind of a tango, but I'm gonna make it a little bit more more jazzy just because I, I love this melody and I think it's really lovely. Let's go back over here. <laughs> Rosypał trojandy czerwoni I zdaje się nikto ich nie baczyć A trojandy, a trojandy Do ludzi pelustkami krycza Kochania nie można toptać. W moim serci czy bil, czy to smutok, nie zustrił i ty mnie ciągodni. Ktoś daru. Komuś płaci lenok, a ktoś topcze trojandy. Oh, that chorus just kills me, right? Yeah, beautiful, but frozen. So uh, they said that when we're on the other cam, everything seems fine. I don't know if that's really, it went from, now we're good. It goes bad, marginal, good. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think the camera would, because it's just the overall feed to, yeah, the, to the thing. Yeah. We're grasping at straws here. Damn it. Seems it's working. I mean, it's not, I don't know. <laughs> Darren's fine, Rob's not. I don't know how Belize is doing. Greg's fine. Okay. <laughs> this chorus is really lovely. A troyande. A troyande. To ludei pelustkame krechat. That's so neat. You have this A flat out of nowhere. Krechat. Uh, uh, three under the roses, but the roses. Yes, those roses. To the people, through their petals, they shout. <laughs> well, we're not flowers. We are uh, love. It's so shitty, not in Ukrainian. Uh, but love, uh, but love cannot be trampled. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Nice. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Olivia says we love you. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. 
Here's another. It's a lot of a lot of plants and trees today. This is called Yasenea. This is song number four. This is from 1963. It's written by Mikhail Otkach and Alexander Bilash. And uh, this is a waltz originally. I'm going to play it a little bit differently. And this is about uh, ash trees that are, uh, I guess, in Ukraine, especially in Kiev and around there, there, there's a preponderance of these kind of white ash trees that are very, very beautiful. It's such a popular subject for songs, literally within the PFA canon, which we only have 14 Ukrainian songs. Uh, there's two songs about ash trees. One's called Yasene, and the other one's called Moyi Yasene. One means ash trees, the other one means my ash trees. And uh, it's always wonderful at a wedding or something when someone requests yesene. And you say, are you sure you want yesene or do you want muyi yesene? And it ends up being this Abbott and Costello routine for like four minutes. But this is called just yesene. And it's just, it's, there's such beautiful poetry here in the words. Um, ash trees, over, over my head, um, your, your boughs um, a whisper. Um, and I, I watch them whisper as the wind moves through them. Uh, the first snow has fallen. Um, uh, um, as, the, as the first snow falls, I'm, I'm reminded of your beauty. You know, it's that kind of thing. It's just such poetic, lovely. And it's just in Ukrainian, it just sounds so lovely. It just sounds so lovely. Um, uh, yesne, yesne, za salom prokrechala de laki. Uh, ash trees, uh, like past the village. It's like they're shouting, it's like they're calling out uh, with, a, with a cry that's as cold as ice. Um, but you still see them off in the distance. Uh, they help us find spring. And, 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 and yeah, I'm, I'm not doing these words any justice because the translation is so... My, my skills as a translator of Ukrainian are so poor. So I'm just going to play this tune again. Just revel in the beauty of the, of the sort of sound of the words. And understand that whenever I see Yasene, that is the, that's the tree. That's the tree. So here we go. Yasene, Yasene. Nadi mnoju šumljać vaši krona In na čelita Podveš i iz vitrom zvika Perši snik se veneć Ja prenis ja krevohu na skrona Perši snik se veneć Ponad skroni moji jasene Perši snik se veneć, po na skroni moji jasene. Jasene, jasene, za selom prokrečali daleki. I holodni jak lide, zaleše i na obrini sni. Im šukate vesne, i letite daleki. Daleko, im šukate vesne i vertate što vas jasene. Im šukate vesne i vertate što vas jasene. Baču vas za selom kraj do rohe, tam pokloni što ni, jak povernoj z daleki do ri. Kole pride vesna, ja povernoj do vas posoblohe, jak pride vesna, kučer javi moji jasene. Kole pride vesna, Ja povernuš do vas posoblohe, kole pride vesna, kučer javi moji jasene.
cerja vi moji aseni. 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 Love it. It's an E minor, right? And the first chord is this F sharp minor flat five. Like we're starting on a flat five, like a, like a flat two. Yasene, yasene. It's really, really neat. It's really jazzy, really, really beautiful. And again, the original is more this card of like. Yasene, yasene, yasene. Nadim no yushum lad va shikrona. Doom da da doom da da. In three, it's a fast three. But I thought it worked kind of cool as a little bassa sort of thing. Nice. All right, now I can't do. Are we still on? We're still yeah. okay? Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's holding out? Good. We got a whole tune in. Fabulous. I have to do a polka because I have to do a polka because that's such an essential part. But I didn't want to do kind of a regular polka. And I thought I would do one that kind of explains a little bit of the ethos of the Ukrainian diaspora in the 60s, 70s, 80s. Let's go over here because I'm going to talk for a second here. Hopefully we'll, we'll remain live. Now... As, as most of you know, or some of you might not know, but my dad w was and is in a band, and, and, and uh, Andy from the Philadelphia Funk Authority, the trumpet player, his father, uh, uh, Ernie, it an A, and my father formed this band back in the 50s, and, and uh, uh, it, Andy's dad died, uh, unfortunately, tw 20 plus years ago. Um, yeah, 25 years ago, I guess, whatever it's been now. But... Um, my dad and his dad formed this band and were huge in the 70s. They were, they were playing, you know, whatever it was, 50, 60 nights, a, uh, dates a year, every weekend easily. And Idene, Ernie, had this idea of sort of adding pop repertoire to the traditional songs that they'd be playing, the waltzes, the tangos, the cha-chas, the stuff from the 20s and 30s that maybe their parents were listening to. Uh, Idene and my dad wanted to add sort of a pop repertoire, but not American pop necessarily. So what they would do is they would write new lyrics for existing pop tunes. Uh, Andy's father and mother, they would write, I, in the Colors episode, back episode, whatever that was, the theme was Colors, and I did uh, Black is Black. And they did a version of that called Tak Chishyak. It wasn't a translation of the words, and it wasn't like a funny Weird Al kind of thing. It was just using the song and writing new words to it that they could sing in Ukrainian so that when they had these gigs, they could play these tunes and maybe make the kids that are at the gigs kind of happy because they're playing rock and roll or whatever it would be. And they started this sort of tradition of writing new words for pre-existing songs in Ukrainian. And my gosh, Eden A was, and, his, and, and, and my godmother... Uh, uh, Aneta were really good at it. This next song is not a rock tune, but they took a Russian folk tune called Gari Gari. Gari Gari means burn, burn. And it was sort of this Russian folk tune. They took that, they changed the melody a little bit, and they wrote entirely new words to it using the word Hore Hore. Now, you might not know this, but in Russian, there is no H. In Ukrainian, there is an H. The letter H does not exist in Russian. So whenever they talk about houses or whatever, it's H, they try to say a, a H for an H, whereas Ukrainians can say H, we have H and G, we have both H's and G's in Ukrainian. So they took Gari Gari, and they made it Hore Hore, which is the Ukrainian word for burn burn, and they made it a song about camping, because in in Ukrainian there's a, there's a great scouting tradition, it's called Plast, you go to Plast, you go to scout camp, and after you've been a Boy Scout, and a Cub, a Cub Scout, and then a Boy Scout, you go to what's called Starshaplastunstvo, which is like graduate school scouting, sort of. And you join like a club of different, you pick which one you want to be. There's the, there's the Chornomorchi, which is like the uh, uh, Black Sea sailors. There's, uh, there's the, uh, uh, what else is there? Spartanke, which is like the sports kind of people. So you, you choose like your fraternity, it sort of is, but it's like a scouting fraternity. And one of those scouting fraternities is called the Burlake, and the Burlake are all about camping. Burlake are, I'm not sure what that means literally, someone I'm sure will put it into the chat, but Burlake are like campers. Their symbol is a torn boot. 
you know, because they're such, they, they, they love to go trekking and camping and they're in the woods so much that literally the symbol of the burlaka is a torn boot. So Irene and Aneta, they wrote new words to Gari Gari, they called it Hore Hore, and it became this ode to being out in nature, loving it. So it's like, I love the freedom, I love the openness, because I'm a burlak from way back. Uh, in one place, I can't live. Uh, I have to go out. Um, and it's always, it's always bugging me to go out for a long walk or go out for some kind of a trek. Um, when the sun shines in the sky, um, when the wind blows through the trees, my blood starts boiling. And uh, I have to go trekking. And then it's burn, burn. The uh, life of a burlak, uh, it's, oh, it's like being the best kind of camper you can be. Um, um, our own strength uh, shines above us and through us. <laughs> um, and that same, that same strength and our love shines through us as well. So it's, hore hore, jetia burlatskiya, the life of a burlak. Oh, it's just so great. So this is a very fun up kind of song. And I love the fact that, uh, you know, my godmother and my, and my, my, uh, in Edene, the, the co-band member, wrote these words to, and took this Russian tune. You can find Gari Gari on YouTube. You can't find Hore Hore on YouTube necessarily, but go check out Gari Gari and look how they changed the melody a little bit and stuff. Let's go back over here. And here it is, my only polka of the night, but this is Hore Hore. Okay. <laughs> Я люблю волну просто далечин, бо я бурлак з далеких поколінь. В одному місті я не можу жить, і ти у мандри все мене кортить. Як заблестить лише сонце в небесах, як зашумить вітреч по деревах, то тілі кров моя аж закипить, і ти у мандри все мене кортить. Горе, горе, життя бурлацьке є, життя байдуже, а! Юнацькіє, царит над нами сила власная, горить усе любов прекрасная. Горе, горе, життя бурлацькіє, життя байдуже, а! Юнацькіє, царит над нами сила власная, горить усе любов прекрасная. Простойний світ – це є для мене дім. Я б мандрував по горах, долах, Голубе небо – це для мене дах. Мене не спинить море, океан, Мене не страшить навіть гураган. До всіх всяких я привик, Моя зам'я подерти черевик. Горе, горе, життя бурлацьке є, Життя байдуже, а юнацьке є. Це від над нами сила власна Hore hore, життя бурлацьке є, життя байдуже, а юнацьке є, царі та нами сила власна я, горить усе любов прекрасна я. Я люблю воду просто далечин, бо я бурлак з далеких поколін. В одному місті я не можу жить, І ти у мандри все мене кортить. Як заблестить лише сонце в небесах, Як зашумить по дервах, То в тілі кров моя аж закипить, І ти у мандри все мене кортить. Ребари! Горе, горе, життя бурлацьке є, Життя байдуже, а юнацьке є, Царит над нами сила власна я, Горить усе любов прекрасна я. Горе, горе, Життя бурлацьке є, життя байдуже, а юнацьке є, царит над нами сила власна я, горить усе любов прекрасна я. It's just fun, it's just so fun, it's so fun. 
Um, Your dad um, said burlaki trekkers. Trekkers. All right, burlaka or trekkers, I guess. Bur burlak, burlaka or trekkers. Menene strašit buri ani hrim. I'm not scared of storms or thunder. Prostojni svit cijedre mene dim. Open skies, that's my home. Ja mandruval po horach dolanach. I would walk from from hill to valley. Holube nebo cijedre mene dach. The open sky is my roof. Menene spinit more okan. I'm not, I'm not uh, intimidated by the ocean. I'm not even afraid of a hurricane, huragan. Um, to any kind of condition, I'm, 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 I'm used to any kind of condition because my symbol is the torn boot. Put that at each other back. Hore, hore. Kazananya's here. Yay! And Mondo. I think we're... Good buffer wise. And it's so far. Yay! All right, we got two left. This is a flat out tango and another song about flowers. Because why the hell not? This is called Cervoni Make. Uh, Mak is a is a poppy, and the red poppies are a very very uh, second almost to the Cervona Ruta, the sort of national symbol Make. Um, Poppy fields are very prevalent in Ukraine. Sunflowers, these guys, and, and poppy fields are very prevalent and, and a big part of the culture. And this song is just, in essence, sort of praising how beautiful these flowers are. And uh, red poppies, flowers of love, clear hopes, quiet desire, red poppies, seductive color, the beauty of young love. Quietly, gently blossomed. Love didn't know. He sang a song, he took his woman's hand, he swore to love, love like to love like a like a dove's honor. <laughs> to believe in the vow, he gave a girl uh, poppy flowers. So he sort of said, This is this symbolizes my 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 love for you. Here's a beautiful red poppy. And musically, what's interesting in this, and this has happened throughout the night, is we're we are in C. Does it say bad connection? Bad. Uh, on the, uh, on the, well, it's really down weird. there at the bottom. White, it no, it's marginal. It'll, be, there'll be like the sign, low, blah, 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 and then I click the close and then it's fine. Then mm. it goes marginal and bad. Okay. Okay, we're back. All right, okay. I haven't played yet, so I'm going to start with the verse. And again, listen from the minor to the major. Here we go. Červoni mi žetame, bavit oko pelustkame, mi še čajom jih oblev, prilaskal i oživel. Kvitke v milišja rosoju, son obnjal jih tišinoju, tilki kto šu dalj povir, i po nis tehenko špir. Červoni make, kvitke kochanja, jasni nadi, tihe bažanja. Červoni make, man levi cvit, krasa ljubov i ju.
верху нижно рассвитало, а любовь еще не знала. Хлопец песню проспевал, а девчину руку взял. Присягался він кохати, мов голубку шанувати, що повірила в обід, дав дівчині маки цвіт, червоні маки, квітки кохання, ясні надії, тихе бажання. Червоні маки, манливий цвіт, краса любові юні літ. Червоні маки, квітки кохання, ясні надії, тихе бажання. Червоні маки, манливий цвіт, краса любові юні лі. Your dad said that your mother was weeping because her dad used to sing that all the time. Oh. My grandfather used to sing that all the time. Yeah, it's such a lovely. I love, I love the, I love that change where we're going from. Cervoni maque da 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 lands on the major third. It's just so pretty. It's just so lovely. So yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yay. All right. Well, whilst we still have some internet, I'm gonna do one more, and. Uh, this is, this is, uh, again, these are all appropriate. But this is from 1962. It's also kind of become sort of like a folk tune. Uh, it's written by Dmitro Lutsenko and Ihor Shamo. And this is called Kiev and Me. This is my Kiev, my, my Kiev. And um, this is just an ode to the beauty of that, of that city. The sea is green. Um, the, the, the day is quiet as it opens up. Um, the slopes of the Dnipro are beautiful as I look at them. Dnipro is the river that runs through, through Kiev. All, it basically divides all of Ukraine right in half. There's this beautiful river. Um, it's all about, uh, yeah, um, where the, where the, where the branches sway. Again, a lot of, a lot of trees, a lot of flowers, branches sway. And they, they, they cause dreams of love. How can, how can I not love you, Kiev? That's the main, the main chorus. Yak tebe ne lubete, Kiev me. Yak tebe, how can I not lubete and love you, Kiev me? You'll hear that in the chorus. Yak tebe ne lubete, Kiev me. So you'll hear Kiev, you'll hear that in there. Dnipra, you'll hear that Dnipra, the river, you'll hear that through there. And it's just a beautiful waltz. And it's just it's just a lovely lovely song and and there's there's some great YouTube footage of a soldier singing this I think he's sitting like literally in a foxhole and he's singing this thing and it's just it's amazing it's, a, it's either a foxhole or it's I think it's a shelter yeah it's like a bomb shelter and he's got the he's got the vest he's got the things of that and he's just sitting there and he's just singing with this beautiful this kind of operatic Ukrainian voice and it's like yeah these are these are badasses that can that can protect their their culture and their homeland and still sing like mofos. It's really, really wonderful. So here it is, Kiev and me. Jak 
Чакані, серце в них перелю, хай розкажуть кохані, як я вірно люблю, буду мріяти жити на крилах надій, як тебе не любити. Спитне там лене місто мирним лайним сном, ген вогні, як на місто, розцвіли на дні пром, вечорів оксамити, мов щастя прибий. Як тебе не любити, Києве ми, вечорі в оксамиті, мов щастя приби, як тебе не любити. Apologies from to any Ukrainians out there for my tongue tiedness. <laughs> I'm doing the best possible. Um, I actually ran into a lovely woman who was selling just right here on, on on Broad Street. She had set up a table in front of a little. There's a little Polish deli here, and she set up a table. She knew she knew the owner, and she's selling T-shirts, Ukrainian T-shirts, and all kinds of baked goods, raising money for for Ukraine. And uh, I walked by, and I said, "Slava Ukraini." And she said, "Hello, I'm Slava." And we had this lovely conversation in Ukrainian. And she said that my vimova, my my the way it, my 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 words are formed, sounded very nice. So that was very exciting. She's uh she came over here a couple of years ago and uh, is raising money through baked goods. If there's anything more Ukrainian than that, I'm not sure what it is. Sugar and flour and poppy seeds, and uh, <laughs> trying to raise funds for uh, to get people to, to to safety from Ukraine. So. Uh, Thank you for tuning in. Thanks to Ms. Infodana over there as ever. Thanks to my Ukrainian diaspora. Thanks to my folks and uh, uh, the band Tempo and all those bands from the 70s. Uh, um, Veseli Chase and... Um, uh, no, that was... Yeah, no. Uh, I'm trying to get other bands. Uh, they'll list them probably in the thing. Dva Kolori. Uh, um, uh, Veselka? No, shoot. I'm forgetting all the words. I can't think of them. Vodohrai. All these bands that were my dad's contemporaries that played all these tunes as I was growing up and listened to them. So thanks for tuning in. Take care of each other. Stay safe. And don't forget, if you have not gotten your tickets yet and you can come to this show, this is gonna this is gonna really be a special, super wonderful time. So like I said, the first half is me. Uh, with the Philadelphia Funk Authority, the theme is gonna be, guess what? Horns. That's right, brass horns. It's gonna be wonderful. And then the second half is Boomer versus Zoomer. Um our contestants for this, we have the mayor of Bethlehem, uh, J. Willie Reynolds. He is our millennial contestant. Madeline Dundon, who's a fantastic actress. She is our Zoomer. Um, Christine Dempsey, who runs WLVR Radio. She is our Boomer. And we just got Josh Burke, who runs the Bethlehem Public Library. He is our Gen X representative. So, And then we have our quiz masters, of course, Jay, Brian, and Steve will be there. It's going to be a wonderful day. Also, in the afternoon, there's a live recording of the Skeptics Guy of the Universe podcast, all happening at the Ice House. Go to no show 2 the number 2, dot eventbrite.com and get your tickets. Okay. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a wonderful weekend. Slava Ukraini. Heroin Slava. There you go. Bye bye.